had an interesting experience recently where I came across a post on my Instagram feed that pointed out some examples of body checking. It wasn't that this particular post opened my eyes to any new concept, but it stopped me in my tracks. I've been weight stable for the past three years or so, and this has been without any tracking or intentionally managing my food intake for weight control. Uh, I definitely see myself as an intuitive eater, which is probably a good thing since I preach this here and to my clients all the time. But a few weeks ago, I had my gallbladder removed and I was experiencing some GI changes and figuring out what and how much of different foods feels good now that I don't have a gallbladder. Now, during that time, I lost a not insignificant amount of weight, which became noticeable in how my clothes fit and in the mirror, you know, in particular, my midsection. What's interesting is that I really hadn't been body checking much at all the past few years, certainly not like I did when I was training or eating for aesthetic goals. But the other day, it dawned on me that I'm actually doing a lot more body checking recently as a, as a direct result of this change in my body fat levels. And you may be saying, well, what's the big deal? Well, it's it's something that upon reflection, I don't like. I don't like the fact that I felt some excitement that I was unable to eat like normal due to medically induced GI issues resulting in getting leaner. Uh, I don't like that. And if I'm being honest, the, the body checking is me making sure that I stay at my new level of leanness. While it hasn't impacted my eating habits or food choices or portion sizes or anything like that, I know from past experience that it could very easily transition back to dieting, tracking food, and excessive body checking. And it, it also doesn't help that I'm involved in a sport where a larger body does have a significant advantage, which can further perpetuate this idea that smaller is better. Now, I know if I continue down this road that I would start to feel bad or frustrated if I don't maintain this new size, which is not good from a psychological perspective and certainly not helpful at all when it comes to a, a healthy body image. So I've begun to be more mindful, like I did when I first worked on reducing body checking, reminding myself that to perform at my best, I need to make sure I'm eating enough, from reminding myself that my body is an instrument and not an ornament that body changes are inevitable and working on acceptance regardless of what my body does you know going forward and also i need to make sure to practice what i preach right because i truly do believe with all my heart the things i address in my content coaching sessions and podcast conversations related to intuitive eating body acceptance and health at every size